That's a lot of baked goods. Did you know that McDonald's has a bakery? Well, if you didn't know, now you do. Apple fritters, cinnamon rolls, muffins, pies. And recently, they just released glazed pull-apart donuts. In this week's food challenge, I attempted to take down a ridiculous amount of baked goods from the McDonald's bakery. This is the McDonald's bakery challenge. And we're back at the Golden Arches. I just ordered every single item on the McDonald's bakery menu. I ordered so much food, it actually wouldn't let me order any more food. So I'm probably gonna need to get some more food after I get my food. I, have an apple. I actually wanted to get five cinnamon rolls, please. I'm gonna get five apple pies, and then I'm gonna get three of the pumpkin, uh, 10 cookies, and I'll get two large Diet Cokes, and that'll be it. That is a lot of McDonald's items right there. <laughs> we have quite a lot of bakery items here on the table right now. Can I just say, before I get into this challenge, everyone, I love everything on the McDonald's bakery menu, so I am very much looking forward to this food challenge. Let's get everything all unwrapped and get everything all presented. Whew. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe this is a This is a ridiculous amount of food. I got my muffins back here. We have apple pies, we have cookies, we have apple fritters, we have cinnamon rolls, we got muffins, we got every single possible baked good on the McDonald's menu. Over 10,000 plus calories of deliciousness. Now, it's it's been quite some time since I've done a baked good challenge. The last one I did was well over a year ago. I went over to Costco and took down a ton of baked goods, so I'm not too sure how I'm gonna do with this one. There's gonna be a ton of flavor fatigue. This is gonna be a lot of dough with the cinnamon rolls and the donuts. But regardless, I'm gonna give this one my best shot. If you guys think I'm gonna be able to take down all of these pies, cinnamon rolls, donuts, muffins, comment down below, bakery. Because I'm about to attempt to take down an entire bakery in one sitting. Now that that's out of the way, everybody, it's time to get straight into this food challenge. Without further ado, my friends, my family, this is the McDonald's Bakery Challenge. Let's do this. All right, folks, you know the drill. First things first, you guys gotta give the video a like if you haven't pooped today. Man, I don't even know what I wanna start with first. Everything just looks so delicious. I've decided I'm gonna start with the blueberry muffins first. It's time to get this challenge started in three, two, That gets a serious one. <clears throat> All right, well, all of our muffins are down. For some reason, I thought I got more than just three, but oh well, we got three. So far, it's going great. I love muffins. Muffins are amazing. There needs to be an addition. A very, very necessary addition. Just trust me on this one. Dun, dun. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You're going, Eric, this is a bakery challenge. Well, when I think bakery, I think breakfast. And when I think breakfast, I think bacon, okay? So I thought bacon was necessary. Plus it's really gonna help with flavor fatigue. Okay. So these are the new glazed pull-apart donuts. And they call them that because you can just pull them apart. Here we go. Tastes like a glazed donut. All right, everybody, well, glazed donuts are down. So far it's going amazing, okay? I love, I mean, I like sugar, so this is a great challenge. I think it's time to get into apple pies. Arguably one of the best items at McDonald's. Since I just went there, I'm actually curious. What is your favorite item at McDonald's? All right, we've got apple pies, we got Fries, we got quarter pounders, we got Big Macs. Comment down below. Favorite item. Here we go. So good. These pies are amazing. I wonder how many I could eat in one sitting.
now let's try to move on over to their new pie right here. I don't know. I think these are called like pumpkin, like pumpkin cream. Yep, that's what it looks like. Not bad. All right, all of our pies are down. Everything's going amazing, but I think I gotta get into something I've been wanting to try for a long time. I'm not sure how this is gonna taste, but I gotta try it. If you guys are an OG subscriber, you'll know that one of my all-time favorite things in this world is an apple fritter. Just take both. Yes, oh, so good. All right, I love apple fritters, okay? McDonald's happens to have some pretty decent apple fritters, and uh, we have quite a bit of apple fritters to work with tonight, so I figured, you know what? Why not jazz things up a little bit? First things first, we top our apple fritter with some bacon, like so. Stay with me, okay? Just stay with me. Next, because we have apple fritters, I got some apple jelly. You just lather some things on just like so. Just like so, that's all you gotta do. And when I say you, I mean me, okay? I'm not recommending any of you do this. Leave this to the professional idiots like me. And there we have it, my friends and family. We have an apple fritter, bacon, apple jelly, peanut butter. This is hopefully going to be a vessel of deliciousness. All right. Woo! Job you! Oh, Johnny Mom. Mm. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes I try new things and they don't really, it doesn't really come out that good. But this, my friends and family, is a legendary creation. Okay, that's all. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm. Good thing I got the apple jelly. Did need to get some fruit in today. Right, well, the apple fritters have been taken down. So we have this box over here, which is technically our last box. But it's, unfortunately, it's, yeah, unfortunately it's full of a large amount of cookies. So uh, we're gonna figure out what this stuff is over here. I ordered five cinnamon rolls, so I'm kind of confused as to why there's seven boxes. Um, oh, we have the remaining muffins that I ordered. I knew I ordered five muffins initially. So, let's finish off the last two. I feel like I'm literally about to turn into a blueberry muffin right now. And I really don't like it. All right. Well, the last two muffins are down. Those were, uh, I wish they would have just given me three muffins instead of five. I just put it that way. All right. Now I think it's time to get to the most daunting item on the McDonald's bakery menu. The cinnamon rolls. If I knew these would be, they were going to be hard. They are going to be difficult, especially this far along in the challenge. As you can see, that is one cinnamon roll. If you guys haven't had a cinnamon roll from McDonald's, you know, I actually recommend you give them a shot. I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, cinnamon roll from McDonald's? Come on, Eric, really? They're not actually that bad, okay? And I've eaten probably thousands of cinnamon rolls in my life. And I know I just said that they're not bad, but I think this needs to be jazzed up a little bit. Peanut butter on a cinnamon roll? Only on my channel, right? Everyone, that's actually, I have to do it. That is gonna get a W. Oh, yeah. These are good, but I think they need to be chest up a little bit. I'm 
definitely gonna regret doing this tomorrow, but why not? Actually, I'm definitely gonna regret doing this tomorrow, but what's new? item. Oh man, I just, yeah, I just don't even need to bother telling you guys how I feel. You probably already know by now. I mean, you kind of see it on a weekly basis. Oh man. Why do these look way bigger than they usually look? That's what she said. Seriously, I thought they were like half the size. One, two, three, I most definitely did not get 12 cookies. Thanks for the extra two cookies. Oh. These aren't bad either. Thank you. Cookies left. If you guys are still here with me, Electric Empire. You're still, you're still rocking with me. Comment down below. Cookie, because I totally regret getting these cookies. And just like that, Electric Empire, that has been another food challenge. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories consumed right up there. Total macros consumed will be put right up there as well. I gotta say my favorite part of this challenge was definitely that apple fritter, apple jelly, peanut butter, bacon creation I made. Absolutely loved it. If you guys wanna watch more food challenges, the party does not have to end here. I'm gonna put another food challenge similar to this one right along the sidebar, along with the food challenge playlist of mine that I think you guys are gonna enjoy. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next food challenge.